I thought I'd give you an update on my Kindle slash stand. <laughs> uh, first of all, I want to thank everybody who has sent me email and posted on Facebook and my website. And wow, I, I, I'll bet you I've gotten <laughs> over a hundred responses on that and some incredible ideas. People have been sending me SketchUp files and PDFs and hand drawings and all sorts of really good ideas. And it really got me thinking about different ways of approaching this project and uh, different techniques to try out and so let me show you where I am right now. Basically two different ways of thinking about doing this. One of them is I really got to thinking about just making a hinged lid and even making some wooden hinges that would come up and it would flip around and make a stand that way and I actually may end up doing that also. I think I may make two of these <laughs> and just see what happens. But I'm still going to proceed with my sliding lid box. I canceled it after thinking about it a long time. I thought this is just not going to work. Then I came back to it. Then I canceled it again. <laughs> then I came back to it. And well, now I'm back at it again. And so I've started out by, I've just made up this um, kind of a crude cutting template here that I can cut out a nice uh, rectangle for the Kindle and so that should just fit down here. This is just a test piece of wood right now if everything's going to work out to see if it's all going to work out right. Uh, I think I've come up with a system for that sliding uh, top which uh, a couple of people suggested putting you know little balls in there with springs on them. You've seen those kind where you boop, 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 and it has like positive stops at different locations and and now, since a couple of people told me that magnets are okay, they won't harm an e-reader, that's really good news because I can put a couple of rare earth magnets. And I think that's what I'm going to do is rare earth magnets and then on the underside of the lid, I'll either have washers or a strip, just a strip of metal. So we have like infinite stops as you slide it out, it would just stop in different locations. The biggest problem I've had so far is, let's see, where's my little box? This little box over here is when this goes to stand up, well, well, the Kindle will stand up in there that it doesn't fall out. In other words, I have to put some sort of a lip under it on this side. That's really been my stumbling point. And so that's why I'm doing this test right now is just to try that out and see if this is going to work. <laughs> Who knew? This is like the simplest project. It's just kind of driving me crazy. So there's my little dovetail notch that's going to hold the lid and I need to put it back on here. But I think what I'm going to do is see right here is where I need to create that little lip. And I think I can just flip it over and just route out basically a rabbit on this side. <laughs> 